Well, it's Thursday, just before 11. Beautiful, sunshiny kind of day. Kind of in the 50s. Not under here, this roof, but a nice day. I just got my first customer. You ain't going to believe what he gave me. Good gracious, what a way to start. Six steak knives, Hinkles. Well, five, I guess. One, two, three. Yes, five. How did you have five steak knives? Anyway, a spider coat, serrated, and a whole flock of old heckles. So I didn't count them all. How many is that? That's six, seven, twelve. First customer, one dozen. I like it. Do you? Doing good, man. Second customer, five. Cafalons, I guess that's what you call them. Cafalons. It's a turkey kind of weekend. Stand by. Customer number two brings me a serrated cutco. The little teeny serrations. And a Henkel, German Henkel. Customer number three. However, take a look at that. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. That's customer number four. I've done a lot of knives for this guy. Hatchets, survival stuff, big knives. Now he's got two swords. He's got a double bladed katana there. Katana, I guess that's what you call it. And a single bladed one, like a training one. It has no edge on it whatsoever. Stand by. Okay, it's like flat, flat steel. Pretty little thing. He says it's like a training sort of something. You can see the edge is blunt. But he wants it sharp. Sharp? I can make it sharp. Blunt. From blunt to sharp. In a matter of, I don't know how long it's going to take. I'd be afraid to guess. They even say this one, like I said, is a double double edged katana. Stand by. Made in China. Damascus steel, handcrafted in China. It's uh, it's got some kind of coating on it. I told him I'd leave that coating on. And the blade is relatively sharp. All I'm going to do is polish the blade up a little bit. This factory factory blade. It's a pretty thing. Nice black handle. Great Duga Muga. Cantana. <laughs> Kershaw and Spotico. Okay, number four. We call it Knife Extravaganza Day. This fellow's brought me up several pocket knives before. He's got two uh, a special op Smith & Wessons that are duller than that one flat blade sword. And then, this is a knife i never seen before. He said he found it. It's got an eagle made into the handle. But not an eagle, I mean a lion. But no marks, no maker's marks, no name, no anything. Cool. Then I got four more knives from a lady. Just walked up. Mm -hmm. Knife extravaganza. Stand by. Well, I started on this one. Putting the edge on it from flat to sharp. This one I haven't done anything with. I'll do that tomorrow or the next day. Okay, I'm getting ready to wrap it up here. <laughs>